Hello YouTube, welcome to another edition of my Vision OS series. Today I want to talk about skyboxes. The skybox is essentially the background and lighting information for a scene. So it's the lighting information that you're going to be reflecting onto your objects. Here you can see I have a sphere that's metallic. So it's reflecting back this virtual museum room, but it's also reflecting back the lighting that is coming in from the skybox. So you can brighten some objects in your room. You can see these rocks here. I know that doesn't make sense in the context of the scene, but I put an outdoor rocks skybox here. You can see here. So this is the image that's being reflected onto the sphere. In the documentation, it says that Reality Kit supports same input formats as image IO like PNG and JPEG. I tried to use JPEG, I tried to use PNG, and I couldn't get it to work. So if you know how to in the comments, leave a comment below. But the preferred format is EXR or HDR, which supports a wide dynamic range. So if you want to get some HDR files or EXR files, I just googled free HDR files, which I found this website polyhaven.com, and you can find some free skybox files here. So HDR eyes here, and then there's a variety of skyboxes to choose from. You can change it to EXR here, HDR, and download that skybox file. So let's start with the app. The first thing I did was I created an immersive app with an immersive space and I'm about to make a portal app, which will be the next video. So I called it Portal View, and I have Portal View here. You want to open this folder in Finder, and you want to create a new folder that is the title of your skybox. So what do we do here? We have a Pure Sky Skybox, so that's what I'll call it. So I'll rename this folder to Pure Sky Skybox. Then I'll look for my file here. So we have right here. So then I move my autumn field pure sky i'll rename it here i'll just call it pure sky and the final thing you want to do is xcode does not immediately recognize the skybox folder if you add one so you want to click and drag this folder into your project and then you click finish and you've got your skybox here so this title will be this line right here, pure sky. So I'll put in pure sky. But before I do that, let me just go over this code real quick. So you start with the environment, let environment equals try await, environment resource named, and then the name of your skybox, pure sky. Then I'm gonna generate a sphere. And the reason I generate a sphere is because you can have any object you want and the skybox will affect the lighting of that object. But sometimes it's really hard to see that. You want to have a metallic looking object so you can reflect the environment back and you can actually see that your skybox is working. So I created a sphere, let sphere equals model entity, mesh dot generate sphere, radius 0 0.5, materials, and then in brackets, simple material, color dot white is metallic true. I put that position dot Z, negative four, and then you put sphere dot components dot set image base light component, source dot single environment, sphere components, and then sphere dot components, image base light receiver component dot self dot init image base light sphere. So if you want to just copy this code, you can just uh, print screen and copy that from that image. I've demonstrated that in a previous video. Just do this. Command Shift 4, print screen. Then just open the image file and you can copy the code simply like this. Finally, you wanna add content.add sphere. And then let's run it. Okay, cool. It worked. You can see my sphere is a lot more blue, light blue color, sky color, just like this. So you can see it's reflecting that image back to us. So that's pretty cool. All right, that's about it for this video. If you want more Vision OS videos, like and subscribe. I also have videos on painting and music production. So take a look at my videos. Thanks for watching.